How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And if you're wondering why your Netflix is not working with your VPN, it's likely that you're not using a credible VPN. Now, as you can tell here, I am in the United States library. I'm not really in the United States. I'm not located there. I'm somewhere in the European region, but I do have access to the uh, United States library, as you can tell. And I'll talk about how I got access in just a minute. But before we begin, if you guys are interested in any of the VPNs mentioned today, be it Express, Nord, or Surfshark, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about these VPNs. Now, when it comes to using a VPN with Netflix, it's really not the case that most VPNs do work with Netflix. It's actually the opposite. Most VPNs do not work with Netflix. And that's because most VPNs are successfully blocked by Netflix. And so once Netflix recognizes that uh, a, a certain IP address is coming from a VPN, it will be blocked. And that's because Netflix recognizes they have this kind of technology that recognizes they're using a proxy or a VPN, and so you'll be blocked from it. So what you need is a credible VPN that can obfuscate the fact that it is a VPN. So what happens with these three VPNs and why I picked them is that they successfully obfuscate the fact that they are VPNs when you are accessing Netflix. And that's why I got access to the US Netflix library using ExpressVPNs server right here, the US server. And how these VPNs do that is by consistently maintaining their servers and working around the clock to make sure that these servers are working with Netflix at all times. And that's not just with Netflix, that's with all other streaming services. Uh, they have anti-VPN software that blocks VPNs. But when you're using a VPN that is as credible as ExpressVPN, for example, or Nord or Surfshark for that matter, uh, you'll be able to successfully access Netflix. And, uh, you know, it, I'm, I'm on PC right now, but you can still get these VPNs. They're compatible with nearly every single modern device, you know, from smart TVs to mobile phones, you know, Android, iOS, uh, Mac, uh, Windows, um, Fire Stick streaming devices and whatnot so yeah for the most part they are natively compatible with all of these devices now how do you know which one of these could be the best choice for you it really depends on what you're looking for so if you're looking for the largest number of countries for example you'll find that with expressvpn they have 94 countries and over 3,000 servers um, if you're looking for more servers and less countries, maybe you don't care about all the other extra countries that come with ExpressVPN, you can get that with uh, NordVPN, over 5,400 servers in 60 countries. So 34 less countries, but I know most of you guys are looking simply for United States servers and a few European servers here and there. With ExpressVPN, you'll find many more Asian servers, a few more Middle Eastern servers, and quite a few more uh, South American servers uh, with ExpressVPN. Uh, with Surfshark, you do have, you know, there, it's it's in between Nord and Express with over 3,200 servers in 65 countries. So you're still getting a whole lot of uh, variety. And of course, again, if you're looking for simply American and European servers, you'll find them in all the VPNs. With ExpressVPN, though, it's pretty cool because it is just super easy to use. As you can tell, you can't really maximize or minimize the um, size of the window. It's just one size and it's just super easy to use. You know, you go to your locations and pick the appropriate server or location and you are good to go. Just, you know, let's say click Dallas and it shows up right here or you can double click and it will turn it on. Let's just turn it off for now. Uh, so with regards to features, it also depends on what you're looking for. If you're just looking for something that's as simple to use as possible, very bare bones and not bare bones in a bad way, but bare bones in a, an easy plug and play kind of way, uh, you'll find that with ExpressVPN. It allows you to secure up to five devices per subscription. And you have these two features that are also uh, featured in NordVPN and Surfshark, which are the kill switch and split tunneling. It's called network lock in ExpressVPN. 
the network lock will kill your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly and split tunneling will allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not, which can be very helpful. So for example, you can choose your torrenting client and uh, Google Chrome if you're accessing Netflix through Google Chrome. Uh, and you can only have these two applications use the VPN while the rest of your connection goes through your conventional network. So this can be very useful if you want to use your VPN for Netflix only and nothing else. Uh, and by the way, speaking of Netflix, uh, ExpressVPN will be able to unblock up to 18 to 20 Netflix libraries, about 10, 11 with Nord and 14, 15 libraries with Surfshark. That could fluctuate depending on, you know, which servers they take out, which servers they add. Sometimes they're able to um, unblock more libraries, less libraries. It really depends. But if you're for the most part looking for European libraries, you know, the UK, Italian, French library and the US library, they're nearly 100% of the time available with all uh, servers, with all VPNs, excuse me. Uh, and uh, when the Netflix crackdown happens, it narrows down to just a few servers until they get that done. So when the latest Netflix crackdown happened, Surfshark, Nord and ExpressVPN were not able to unblock Netflix on all the servers, but a, it, it was just narrowed down to a few servers, a handful of servers, uh, until they got all the other servers fixed and successfully unblocked uh, so at this point you know the crackdown happened quite a few months ago and now you're able to use any other server okay so again if you're looking for something that's super easy to use and just you know kind of plug and play especially if you're in a censorship heavy country if you're prioritizing just a premium service prioritizing anonymity and privacy you can go with expressvpn it's a wonderful vpn again if you're looking for more information on the privacy policy speed streaming torrenting capabilities as well as security and features you'll find everything you need in the full reviews down below. But if you're looking for something that's a little bit cheaper, um, has less countries, sure, but quite a bit more servers and many more security features such as specialty servers, you will get an ad blocker, uh, the powerful Nord Links protocol making Nord VPN the fastest VPN. Uh, not much faster by ExpressVPN, but I would say easily about 10% faster. Not only do you get a conventional kill switch, but also an app kill switch, which are close selected apps when you disconnect uh, the VPN or the connection drop. Split tunneling, just the same as ExpressVPN. In advance, you'll find an easy way to change your DNS with custom DNS and obfuscated servers if you're in a censorship heavy country. If you notice, there are no obfuscated options with ExpressVPN. So if we go to advanced here, a handful of protocols, by the way, you can just stick to automatic, which will work just fine 100% of the time, really. Uh, there are no obfuscated options here because ExpressVPN works no matter your location, whereas with NordVPN and Surfshark, you might require a little bit of configuration to get it to work in China, for example, because China's great firewall is uh, very advanced. Now, if you're looking for a VPN, again, that secures an unlimited number of devices and is very, very budget friendly, it'll just get the job done at the cheapest possible cost. You'll find that with Surfshark. And with Surfshark, you're still not going to necessarily be sacrificing much on privacy, uh, speed, or features for that matter. You still get your security uh, specialty server, excuse me. Uh, you also get an ad blocker with clean web, the kill switch, a handful of protocols, as well as bypasser, which is the same as split tunneling, and a feature that'll help you with uh, censorship heavy countries such as no borders mode. So that's pretty much it with these VPNs. All these VPNs work wonderfully with Netflix. It's just a matter of which VPN uh, you'd like to go for depending on your needs. And they all do have a 30 day money back guarantee on all of the plans, even if you just go with the single month plan. So you can try them out for 30 days risk free. You can go to their 24 seven live chat support and ask for the refund if you'd like. It's very simple. So that'll be it for this video. Again, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below if you'd like to save up a little bit on any of these VPNs and you'll also find the full reviews. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.